Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a communion meditation based on Psalm 116. The psalmist begins by saying, I love the Lord, for he has heard my cry. I was entangled in the cords of death. I was overcome by tears and sorrow, but I cried out to God, and God heard me. And because God is gracious and righteous and full of compassion, God delivered me from death. And because God delivered him from death, he brings a sacrifice of thanksgiving to the temple, where he can testify to the congregation that God has done something for him, that God has delivered this worshiper from death. And that Thanksgiving offering was a meal. It was an animal that was butchered and then divided up between the priest and the fat went to God and the rest of the animal went to the worshiper and maybe took it home, maybe celebrated with the village or with the large family, whatever the case may be. But it's a presentation made in the community. And it's a presentation of recommitment and of thanksgiving. And we hear that language in the psalm. The psalmist says in verse 12, With what shall I repay the Lord for all his goodness to me? How am I going to pay God back? I didn't deserve to be saved from death. I don't deserve God's mercy or God's goodness or God's graciousness. How do I repay God? And the psalmist says, I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Do you hear the congregational environment? Do you hear the testimony of the psalmist? Do you hear how he's responding to what God has done? God has delivered him from death, and he comes to God to say thank you. And he can't say thank you by paying God back. He says thank you by lifting up the cup of salvation and by committing himself to keep all his vows before God in the presence of all the people. It seems to me that that's exactly what we do when we sit at table with Jesus. We lift up our cup and we say, thank you, God. Thank you, Father, for the grace of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the Spirit who will raise, which will, who will raise our bodies from the dead. Thank you for the gift of life deliverance from eternal death, deliverance from this death that we will all experience, but we will all be raised. Thank you. We lift up the cup of thanksgiving and we recommit ourselves to the vows that we made in our baptism. So as we come in this moment to the table, let us give thanks for our deliverance from death, to which the resurrection of Jesus bears witness. And let us recommit ourselves to the covenant that we have with God to keep our baptismal vows and live a life of glory for the sake of the Father. We come as one body, in one spirit, having received one baptism for the glory of God. Who are we? We are the body of Christ. And what have we become in eating and drinking with God? We have become bread for the world. Lord, be known to us in the breaking of the bread. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all at 
the table.